Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. The first thing is to always subscribe just to show me that you appreciate my content and that you're happy to discover the best reaction channel on YouTube. All right, so guys, listen, today we're going to do uh, a reaction uh, to this beautiful lady by the name of Modoni. Uh, so this is Modoni's mission. So how I worked on myself, learning to love myself. Listen, this is a very, I'm very sensitive to this type of topics because uh, personal development is very important. And so when I came ac across this video, I was like, hey, I need to react to this one. So let's discover what she has to say about it. And yeah, make sure you subscribe, okay? Let's go. Oh, she's pretty. Very nice. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so, I want you to ask yourself a question. Uh -huh. Do you love yourself? Mm. Like, do you like yourself? Mm. So, listen, I remember the, the when I asked myself this question, well, it wasn't exactly the same question, but I, I remember uh, I was doing some, you know, uh, self-searching, okay? And so, you know, a time comes in life. So life is a constant evolution. And so it came a time in life where I was asking myself, what's my life purpose? And this is a stage that everybody goes through, only that when you start asking yourself that question, it's a horrible moment because you, you I, I personally had the, the impression that I, I, I wasn't happy. You know, I wasn't, uh, I was in a place in life where I wasn't really satisfied with anything about myself, about my life, about anything. And so I asked myself, I remember reading some, a quote, um, and this is, was, uh, the quote was, uh, if you, if you were to die today, would you die happy? And the answer to that question, I was honest with myself and I said, no, that was like a horrible punch right into my face. And I remember I cried so hard and I asked God to just guide me from that point forward because, um, it's, it's, it's a delicate moment because you, you want things to, to be better, but you don't know how to go about it. But that's, let me tell you, if you're watching this and you're a young person, when you go through that stage in life, it's okay. And a, a time will come where you will ask yourself, are you happy with yourself? Are you happy with your life? And if you were to die today, this very moment, will you die happy or not? Okay. So yeah, so I've already asked myself this question and I'm happy that I went past it because woof, it's it's a terrible moment in life. But at the same time, an eye open, it just depends on how you react to it. Some people decide to go into de depression um, or just go into depression and others decide, okay, you acknowledge the fact that you're not happy with your life, but then you do everything possible in your power a step at a time to be a better version of yourself. Mm -hmm. For a long time, I did not like myself. Right. I did not like myself at all. Mm -hmm. My world was falling apart. Oh. I was crying a lot. I was angry. I was frustrated. Mm -hmm. I was mean. I was a snob. I had a nasty mm -hmm. attitude, mm -hmm. you know. Wow, Modoni, let me tell you, for you to say those things, it's, it means that you're in a very um, happy place in your life right now. The bubble you're in right now, you must be very happy because for you to acknowledge those things that you were mean, uh, you were unhappy, you were this, you were that, it's because you've come, you've acknowledged and you decided to move forward. Wow, girl, it's fantastic. I love this. My relationships were all toxic, mm. like I dated shitty guys. Mm. Yeah, I did. And uh, I was yes, because I mean, the, the guys we date are a reflection of who we are. Does it make sense? Um, we attract who we are, and we also attract predators. We also uh, attract when you're in a very down moment in your life or in a place where you're not very happy. And that's why I feel some relationships don't go through it uh, the storm because you meet as a young person, you don't know yourself. So when you start. Um, knowing yourself, we, you both evolve in different directions, and so that's where all the all the toxicity comes. And I believe we we we've all been toxic at some point in our life because as we were building ourselves individually, we most definitely hurt someone 
in that process and you were toxic at some point. So when you acknowledge that, you become be you become a better person. So, wow, this is deep. This conversation is so deep. I wouldn't have said anything better. You're on point. Mm. Broke. Mm. I was a mess. I was partying from Monday. I was a party animal Monday to Sunday. Mm, yeah. Like I was crazy out here. I thought I was leaving, but I was so broken. Okay. I would like to know your age, Modani, because there are some stages in life, especially in your uh, in your early 20s where you're discovering yourself as a young person, as a young adult. All you think about is partying because you don't have any other responsibilities uh, apart from yourself, you know, because when we're young, we just tend to think about ourselves and ourselves only and our friends and that age all we think about is just partying 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 and then we just get lost in that mess and then when you wake up one morning when you're 25 26 you're like oops i'm almost hitting 30 and what have i done with my life and that's where the soul searching begins and the life purpose journey begins i i believe so so how old are you um i was a mess i was mm. i did not like myself mm. like i was not someone anybody would i was not someone anybody would like that is why i did mm. not like myself and i made a conscious decision mm. to work on myself to be happy to start enjoying life mm. because life is here to be enjoyed right. and life is for the living exactly no. life is for the living and i and I, you've said a very important thing it's a conscious decision it all sums up to that it's a choice the life you're living right now it's your own choice it's our own choice you choose to be happy you choose to be sad things will throw life will throw lemons at you you can either take those lemons full force and they will knock you down or you can just decide to catch those lemons and turn them into lemonade and i believe um i mean it's how you react to things that makes who you are you know, and I believe it's a conscious decision to be happy, to be unhappy and to stop complaining because I guess we all tend to complain saying that um, I'm I'm never lucky. I'm never this. I only this only happens to me. But when you feed your mind with all those negative stuff, then they come to life. The power of the tongue, the power of the tongue is something that I've come to learn is very strong. And that's why I believe in speaking things into existence. Just try it. Just try it. If you be, instead of saying, "Oh my God, this just happens," you're like, "You just wait. These things will work out. This is just another obstacle." Just the power of the tongue and speaking things into existence—they really do come true. Um, and so, oof, this is this uh, this conversation is very deep, and I'm very passionate about this because I believe it's very important to get to know ourselves to acknowledge our defaults and move forward, you know? So, yes, and life is for the living. You know, I, I, I bet any person who's down six, six feet deep would love to come back and do something different about their life. So start today uh, and stop waiting and stop complaining and stop um, just, um, just letting life, just living life, you know? Don't... Don't just go through life, live it. Okay, that's what I mean. Don't go through life, just live your life so you can die happy. No, you have to start living. And there are things I did to work on myself, to get to a point where I love myself, where mm -hmm. I love me, mm -hmm. where I know I deserve the best, mm -hmm. and where um, I come from a place of love even to other people, even in my relationships. Mm -hmm. I was so mean, but even saying hi to people was a problem. Mm -hmm. I was mean to men that i met i was feeling like you know what like i'm so special and those things and in return mm -hmm. i dated very shitty men mm -hmm. i had the worst even friendships mm -hmm. you know how you have friends but you don't have friends right. you have friends but you're even scared of sharing what's alien. oh yeah absolutely i agree with you 100 percent um and i believe those are not friendships as well and i guess as we you know when you go through life uh, in the beginning, you have like tens, twenty friends, and then oof, life happens, and then you just shed off all those things. But then it's part of growth. We keep shedding the skin that doesn't um, fit us anymore, and and you know those friends were just there for the happy moments. Oh my, I should sit down and tell you guys um, some of the stories because my goodness, um, disappointed in friends, and I. Yeah, it's uh, it's terrible when they're just there for the good and never for the bad, you know. But I feel when you go through tough things in life, that's when you get to know the real ones, be it in your family, be it with your friends.
completely new because mm. you know by the time they're leaving your house they're already calling other people to tell right. them or oh, you have friends like i would go broke and had no one to turn to because the people i used to call my friends uh was so judgmental that mm. you don't want to tell them you're broke because you don't want them to see you don't have right. money <laughs> i was i was a mess i was mm. and i made a conscious decision to work on myself mm. and that is what i want to talk about today for those who keep asking me about loving yourself getting to that point for those who keep telling me i'm suicidal yeah so just before you continue madoni sorry for cutting you off um but yeah it's very important also just remember this one thing we are the average of the five people um who are in our circle just look at the five people in your circle just look at your five last text messages are they there to uplift you are these people who are there to support you to uplift you can you count of that count on them uh, in whatever situation just 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 pause this video right now and check your last five messages um and you your last five phone calls or just think about the five people and not talking about family just friends you know the people who are they there to build you or are they there more to just just call you to go in and drink yourself crazy you know so look just check uh what do i do mm -hmm. i want to talk about things you can do where you can start i'm not saying maybe it might get you through but you can right. start from somewhere so the first thing I did, and, and this is really important, is I had to look at the patterns in my life, especially the patterns with my friendships. They were mm. shitty. They were crazy. Mm. They borrow money. They never refund. You pay all their bills every time. They come to your house. They pick your handbags. Mm. They will never return. They talk behind your back. Right. They want to shame you. You know, right. you have people in your life, but you don't really have, mm. you know. So I had to look at the patterns in my life and especially also in my relationships. I did a video where I spoke about dating a narcissist. He was so toxic, but I was also toxic. Mm. And I had to look at the patterns in my life. How because men were treating me really bad i had really men who did not also like me i did not like myself i was unlikable you guys yeah so right. i had men treating me so badly but you know why because i was also toxic right. because i was treating myself the same way right. like i did not like myself i used to party from monday to sunday i don't have money mm -hmm. i am crying uh, i don't have friends i am lonely i do not like you know like everything was just falling apart right. i did not like my job like i was you know and uh, oh wow you were in that dark space in life and that's terrible that's very it's a terrible part and I like the way you said you have to study your patterns again. Yeah, I call it going back to the drawing board. Because when you go back to the drawing board, that's where you start things from zero. And that's when you start analyzing what's what's going well, what's not. And the best thing um, is to have like two columns. I know I did it for myself because that's that was the beginning of a new life for myself where I had to ask myself the right questions. <clears throat> And so I had two columns. I said all the things uh, that are going well, uh, all the things I'm I'm not very happy about, be it friendships, be it love, be it this, be it that, and um and my goodness, the 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 balance was all the things that were not going well were just down there. And you realize, yeah, I agree with you. We're all toxic at some point in our lives because if you dislike yourself, I mean, who will like you if your cup is not full? You expect others to fill that cup for you. No, you should, your cup should be full before you accept anybody in your life, be it in love, friendship, because what, people get attracted to, you know, you know what we say in English? I think it's birds of a feather flock together. So if you're that horrible, toxic, narcissistic person, uh, always uh, complaining, always uh, nothing is ever going well in your life, you attract that type of person in your life but let me tell you when you decide to change all that and become a better person get to know yourself better you go back to doing sports and uh you start lo loving yourself first and not expecting your boyfriend to to love you uh, and to try and balance that no you need to love yourself first and then if anybody else comes be it a business partner be it your husband be it a friendship they're just cherry on the top and i will never repeat this um, enough and it's very important girl you come from afar yes examining those patterns oh it must have been a very painful point in your life um <clears throat> I, I checked the patterns mm -hmm. and i realized 
it's my world and those things those bad things were happening in my world Mm -hmm. everybody has their world everybody talks about their world this is my world you're in your world if my world is falling apart it means it's me who's falling as in it's my fault i should be able to be in control that's a strong one yes and you know what girl let me tell you Madoni. let me tell you something and all uh, all of you who watch it if you haven't subscribed this is so juicy this is so nice this is some tea and this is a real life um i remember so i told you about my expression that really changed my vision that made me start soul searching was if i was to die today would i die happy and the answer to that was no and then i came across uh weeks later another when i was doing my my personal development um, and it was like we are 100 responsible for our lives, 100%, not 50, not 30, not, oh, it's my spouse, is the worst, is 70%, I'm hurt. No, you, if something is happening to you, you're accepting it, all those things, you know, we are 100% and not just 30 or 70 or 80, 100%. If you're having problems in your relationship, then you are 100% responsible for those things. And your husband as well, or your boyfriend as well. Is it your problems with your parents? You're both of y'all are 100% responsible. So, oof, that's a good point. That's a great point. No. And I had to look at those patterns. Mm-hmm. I did not like myself. I treated myself so badly. That is why when these men were mm-hmm. treating me badly, I did not realize it was that bad. Yeah. I did not realize because I thought it was the normal. Mm-hmm. I didn't know anything different. Right. So and you thought it was okay. And you thought it was, uh, you deserve it. And you thought like, oh, maybe even in your family background, when we look at how, you know, our parents treated each other and stuff like that, we think it's normal. We think it's okay. We think they, they're, uh, they're jealous because they love us. They're extremely jealous because they love us. They hate us because they love us. No, no. Okay. Because by the end of the day, you will accept it in the beginning. Then, um, then towards the end, you're like, no, 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 this is not for me. So you would have wasted so many years. And that's why I think it's very important to know your principles first, your, 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 what you accept and what you don't accept, what you used to accept and what you no longer accept. It's vital. It's very important and stand by those rules. Oh, please look at the patterns in your life, Mm. the friends in your life. Right. The, how your relationship with your neighbors, mm. the patterns uh, about your relationships with your colleagues, with the people around you, with your co-workers, with your employees, with your people you have a relationship with. Right. And uh, the patterns will tell you because you're the constant in those relationships. Right. You know, you're the denominator. Mm. You have been in all those relationships and if they crumble, if they're messy, if they are messy, you are the problem. Right. I had to really look at that. Mm. It was so important for me yeah. because I was miserable. I was miserable. I was crying in the blankets. You know, guys know what I mean. Yeah. And then every time I was broke, I would be sick. Like I would have migraines. I would start shaking. I was like I had pegged my the quality of my life on money, on material mm. things, on how many friends I had. Mm-hmm. Like I was, I, I think I was just fake. Yes, like, yes. <laughs> That's a, yeah, honestly, yeah, let's call a spade a spade. Yeah, I guess it was a moment in life where you fake it. And I believe um, I've done it. I've done it too. It was a period where you want to please everybody except yourself. You, you see what I mean? It, it's hor- It's a horrible mindset and a place to be in life um, where, yeah, all what that really matters is how much money you have in the bank, how the, your friends are they happy. And those are just shitty things in life. And it's not... Um, yeah, not important. That. So, uh, this is also important. Spending time alone. Mm-hmm. Solitude. You have no idea what solitude can do. Solitude is spending time alone. And I will talk about solitude on an episode on its own. Okay. So, let me tell you one thing. God is within us, right? We say God is omnipresent. Mm-hmm. So, you will never see God in a robe walking to your nail salon or walk into your house or walk into wherever you are but God uses people Mm -hmm. God can only use you in silence Mm -hmm. in solitude Mm -hmm. when it's calm and you know God reveals to us these things for example what I like what I'm talking about here like I get these ideas when I'm quiet when I'm in my thoughts and it's my best time I feel Mm -hmm. so connected so spend time alone spend time alone 
have nature walks, you know. Right. And those are also my moments. I love my moments. And especially when you're a mom, um, you have kids and they, they're constantly seeking attention. Um, and you can't say no to your kids. But I feel it's nice for your children if you, if you have or any other thing that is keeping you from having your alone moment it's important to have even if it's a meditation time just half an hour you can always find half an hour in a day just to reconnect with your inner self with yourself and this is something i do myself i love those alone moments when i'm alone either just going for a short hike or just going around the lake or just finding a quiet place and just sitting down and you know or even if it's in my room in the dark i don't know something that will just help myself reconnect with who I am. And that is vital, very important. And that's where, yeah. And also in the bathroom, I feel personally when I'm in the bathroom, when it's calm and everything, um, I always find that's when my brain just keeps working. And I have like all these ideas and all these things that come and productive things, you know, so I agree. Uh, and the reason sometimes we don't even understand ourselves or what is happening is because we're busy. Mm. We are busy in the noise. Right. Like it's too noisy for even right. us to understand. Right. So spend time alone so that God also can use you. He can manifest your purpose. He can sh- reveal to you things about your friends, about people that you didn't mm. even know about. He right. can reveal things to you that you don't, also did not know about. I also talk about that time I was single. I took myself on very nice dates. I went for movies. Oh. I hang out by myself I uh, some days I do a spa in my house I don't mm-hmm. go for facials especially in in salons because I have sensitive skin okay. I don't know these days I'll do my skincare routine as part of self care so, yeah, yes. <laughs> so um, uh, sometimes I would take days maybe when I'm off work I mm-hmm. would do a spa, I would do my facial I would do a very nice hot bath I would oil my, my skin and then I would shave mm-hmm. and then I would just take care of myself mm-hmm. alone in silence, mm-hmm. sometimes I put slow music. The things you know about yourself, the things God reveals to you. I'm not like that spiritual, you guys. I'm a lifeist, and I believe life is for the living. But at the same mm-hmm. time, I have must I have. A, when I understood these things, mm-hmm. life has been so good for me and mm-hmm. easier. Mm-hmm. Spend time alone. Mm-hmm. God speaks through people, and sometimes when you say, "Hey, that guy, that has been sent by God. That must have been God. God uses people. Let God use you, mm-hmm. even to reveal to you." your purpose, to reveal to you things in your life, to show you signs before even things happen. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we we are so busy, caught up with everything in the world that our conscience, we don't listen to our conscience. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's God speaking to us. So spend time alone. Uh, take nature walks. Someone told me they cannot be quiet or they cannot walk in a restaurant and buy themselves tea alone. You don't need anybody else. You're enough alone. You're complete when you're alone. Exactly. You are a whole, you're, yes, I agree. I know people who never go to the cinema alone. I can do it and I appreciate and I still do it. I can go to the cinema alone. I can go for that walk alone. I've always been a very independent person and and, uh, I wouldn't say solitary, but I I love those alone moments. And yeah, I can. I have have gone to the restaurant alone, alone. It's okay. I mean, um, it's okay. And I feel it's, it's important to try. But if you're not used to it, just start with it. When you go to the cinema, even when you go with somebody, you're alone in a way because you don't talk, you don't communicate. So it's the same thing. Uh, if you want, if you don't like to go to the restaurant alone, then just go to a cafe where you have like a, uh, when you say, a, 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 what do you call it, a patio or or where you can eat outside and then you can just observe people, nature, whatever the case may be. But yeah, it's possible. Just try. All you need to, everything seems impossible until you try, you know? I think it's Nelson Mandela who said that. Time off, mm-hmm. your busy schedule, spend mm-hmm. time alone. Right. It, it's magical. I get these ideas I talk about here when I'm spending time alone. Like I feel connected. I feel good. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. At first, you might feel crazy, especially if you're used to being right, around people. Right. But you will understand. Like, I need my alone time personally to recharge. Mm-hmm. I do. It's important. Mm-hmm. Try it. Try right. it. Right. Also, I realized the reason I did not like myself, I did not love myself, is because I was not someone like a boy. So I would not like myself. Mm-hmm. And you have to work towards being someone you would like. Right. Uh, who, who are some of the people you like? 
mm, what are their characteristics what are they about mm. become a woman you would like and work towards becoming a woman you want a yeah. woman you would Personally, I, 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 I connect more today with people who uplift me, uh, people who are better in me in many areas. Because if you're the most intelligent one in the room, then there's a problem, you know? So I, I believe that, you know, when you're surrounded by people who, first of all, are loyal to you, who love you genuinely, unconditionally, uh, meaning that if I, if I, if I do um, something for them, I don't expect them to do anything back in return because it's genuine, you know? Um, so that's the kind of people that I love and especially people who are building themselves, who have visions, who have, um, who are doing beautiful things in life, who are helping other people, who respect their families. Because I see so many people who are out here pleasing everybody except their family. When I say family, I'm talking about your parents and your siblings. You only have one of those. So... For me, when it comes to family, it's very important. But unfortunately, most people don't really um, forget their folks when they grow up. It, it's a pity. I, I, I honestly, I'm not attracted to that uh, kind of people. Just be true to yourself and someone who's true to themselves. Admire. Don't just say, you know, I want to admire myself. You cannot admire myself if you, yourself if you're lazy, if you have are your finances crazy and mm -hmm. you're in debt and you are crying all over, you have shitty relationships, you have five baby daddies, you know, you don't want to be a woman you would like. Have a mm -hmm. list. It then not have to be written in your head. Just know I want to be this and this woman. Right. I want to be God fearing. Mm -hmm. I want to make my money. Like one of my mantras became, I refuse to be broke. Men, ah, I refuse to fantastic. be broke. I will the power of the tongue. I refuse to be broke. I work so hard mm. because some of these women we see around driving nice cars, living in very nice homes, you know, having their life together. They have no extra organ. That's what I told myself. They have <laughs> right. everything I have. Right. So why why can't I do it? Right. I told myself I refuse to be broke. I decided to be a woman I would admire. Yeah. And another thing, we all have 24 hours in a day. All of us, we all have 24 hours. It just depends on how you use uh, those 24 hours. Um, do you sleep until 10? Um, do you, I don't know. I mean, how do you spend your time watching TV, watching, just looking at your phone, the first thing you get out of bed and stuff like that? You see, it all depends on um, how you utilize your 24 hours. Work towards being someone you would like. Mm -hmm. Stop being lazy. Do a lot of self-care. That's so important. Right. Take care of your skin. Don't right. sleep with makeup. Take water. Right. You know, when you... And remember, self-care is not selfishness. Okay? Not because you're taking care of yourself. It doesn't mean you're selfish. Because most people have that mentality. Oh, my God. Especially we as moms are like, oh... If I do this alone, then maybe, you know, I'm, I'm, no, you're not selfish. You need to take care of yourself so you can take care of others even better, you know? You're eating, make sure you're going to do greens, avocado. If you don't have greens, at least some, even some tomatoes, some raw tomatoes. Mm -hmm. As in, take care of yourself. Be, right. be, be someone you would admire. Mm -hmm. Learn your craft. Mm -hmm. Read books. I will get to that. But point is, become a woman admire start keeping time start waking up early maybe hitting the gym start eating healthy you know right just start becoming someone you would like you mm -hmm. will start to like yourself trust in me <laughs> um Love so it. this is also really important especially if you can afford if you have a insurance card or if you can they're also very affordable ones please get go for therapy get help seek your own happiness mm -hmm. you know sometimes we're struggling here with issues about relationships about being unhappy about having your, your life being messy about blah 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 you keep crying to your friends you keep crying to your relatives and they will not help you mm -hmm. some of them will just listen to you and go telling bloggers and everybody else so go for therapy Mm -hmm. There are people who are trained in school mm -hmm. to help us deal with these issues. Right. Use them. Take advantage. Yeah, it's their job. It's their job. And they're there to listen to you. They're there to guide you. They don't know anybody in your circle, so they will not go running their mouths. If they, if they have the professional secrecy. So I agree with you 100%. Yeah, because we tend to go to people who don't really care, are not sensitive, or it's not their job. So there's not, they can all they can do is just listen to you 
console you and they will not tell you things as they are because they don't want to hurt your feelings and the therapist is there to guide you and also to, sh to tell you this is blue this is green and just tell you things as they are each of them and no sugar coating take your own happiness mm -hmm. sometimes we languish because of lack of knowledge also the bible says mm. that somewhere around in there my people perish because of lack of knowledge mm. so educate yourself mm. inform yourself mm. if you cannot be able to go for therapy right away read books mm. and i want you to start by a book called healing your life mm. by louisa louisa someone healing your life okay I will look for it probably my I've never read this one um healing your life you can heal your life okay this is a very nice read okay I will check it out myself but I agree with you knowledge is power personal development books if you just type personal de development books on uh, on Google you will find a whole list that you can get out of Amazon and it's fantastic reads that will change your life change your perspective financial management uh, rich dad poor dad it's one of the classics if you want to to look at how um you know you're journeying through the financial management things and yeah wow okay i will check it out thank you my place is somewhere here i actually read an ebook i could not find it on soft copy because okay. she she already died she wrote the books a long time ago mm. but man you will do the exercises about loving yourself mm. about being a woman you like about you know what i mean about upgrading your the, your own version like upgrading mm -hmm. yourself so yeah read books and start with that one healing your life actually she has an out there's an audio book on on youtube mm -hmm. audio book healing your life by louise i can't remember the last name her last name louisa someone listen to it sometimes when i'm doing house chores or when i'm just in the house doing a few things i put her mm -hmm. then i listen to her and then her voice is magical it's calm okay. she has a deep you know those deep nice mature voices mm -hmm. so read books there are a lot of ebooks uh, pages like this kitabu kitabu ke kitabu underscore ke they mm -hmm. sell ebooks if you cannot afford a hard copy personally i buy hard copy books because i want to write notes yeah, because my books too. are so personal to me yeah, and me i too. never give out my books i'd rather mm -hmm. just excuse me sorry i'd rather just buy someone a copy mm -hmm. so read books go to kitabu underscore ke start by that book healing your life mm -hmm. by louisa that book is magical you will love it you will read it over and over again oh, wow. point is seek help mm? watch also youtube like what you're doing now i commend you for doing this watch youtube videos mm. about these things right work towards improving yourself right. I'm, I'm happy like but the fact that i realized i had a problem and i decided to work mm. on it and the reason people yeah that's very important when you realize you have a problem you, ha you go and search for um you know for a solution and I, yeah, I agree with you 100%. On YouTube, you have so much content on personal development. Uh, you can listen. If you, if you don't like reading books, you can just listen to podcasts, watch a video uh, on YouTube, and those things will help you a whole lot uh, into changing your life. People don't work on themselves. The reason you keep going through the same cycles mm. with your relatives is you or your friends, mm -hmm. uh, you, sh you have shitty friends or you are toxic you have intox you are in toxic relationships mm. or you keep falling in the same traps over and over again mm -hmm. do you know why you keep doing that because you jump to the victim corner you mm. have victim mentality mm -hmm. you tell yourself uh things are happening to me yeah and they didn't do anything to them things keep, keep happening right. to me wake up yes wake up and and especially just remember you 100 if things are happening to you know you are making them you're allowing those things to happen to you unconsciously but it's nice to be conscious about it so you can take the necessary steps to become a better version of yourself and like i said when you know people when you uh, of course if you make the same mistake you I mean, you keep repeating the same thing you keep doing the same thing of course you will have the same results you know that's why if you have like a nice cake recipe, you keep making that recipe because you know you will have the same result, the cake will be good. So if you keep repeating the same horrible actions in your life or going out with the same type of person, then and you being that horrible person that you are and not loving yourself and not taking care of yourself, then you keep re repeating the same, same mistakes over and over again. So wake up and you will see that life is beautiful and things are not happening to you, but you make things happen. 
because your life changes completely and your perspective changes completely and you start loving yourself and then everything else just falls together. <clears throat> if you jump to the me, uh, to the victim mentality corner, mm. you will never learn from those experiences. Right. You will never see anything wrong mm. wrong, and you, you will never take responsibility. Right. You keep blaming other people for your life. Right. It's your life that's sad, not right. my, not those people. Yeah, take the driver's seat because most of us are in the passenger seat. Just remember, it's your life. It's your life. Nobody else's life. It's your life. So it's time. It's about time for you to take the driver's seat. Take the wheel. Would you? Would you be on, uh, let's say, uh, on a matatu, and uh, and the matatu driver is driving recklessly? Would you allow them to risk your life because they're drunk, because they're in a hurry? Would you? No. So the same thing, just take your life in control and be on the driver's seat and not and stop um and stop making other people not making, stop allowing other people to drive you around recklessly and stop allowing life to to take you here and then, you know, and you will see the moment you take the wheel. You can go wherever you want. Nothing will be impossible. Both lives, it's yours. Mm. So the problem is you. Right. Sava, don't yeah. jump into vic- don't jump into victim mentality. We do that, mm. especially as women. Oh, that guy did that to me. That guy. Right. As much as you do that, please mm. look at what part you played, mm-hmm. and look at working, healing that part of yourself mm. that would let themselves be violated right. over and over again yeah. by friends, by relatives, by mm-hmm. neighbors, by colleagues. You know what I mean? You have to heal that part of yourself mm-hmm. that would keep taking pain over and mm-hmm. over again. Mm-hmm. Don't jump into victim mentality. Work towards looking at the patterns in your life, right. what was not working, and work towards healing that. Mm-hmm. So pray, pray about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember when I was going through all that, uh, I was not able to pray, like I could not pray. I think I didn't feel like I deserved prayer and I deserved mm-hmm. those blessings. Mm-hmm. But I start, as I started to reflect, I started to... Uh, uh, I, and then I learned the power of solitude, spending time alone, mm-hmm. walking alone, going, taking myself on dates and just having a glass of wine alone. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I just stay in the house with quietness. Right. I started to connect with the higher power. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes, you know, having a personal relationship with God is not about screaming all over, praying and, or speaking in tongues. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's about your quiet self yes it's all about yeah it's personal yeah i agree with you it's really personal to each and every one of us and just saying god take control <clears throat> god let your will be done god i put this i dedicate this day to your hands and i've learned something new please try it when i leave in the morning when i'm leaving home in the morning i say god use me as a vessel Mm. God just use me as a vessel to bless other people, to be a blessing to mm. people, to spread love. You know, God is love. Yeah. God is that is what God is. And so, so when I started having that relationship with God, I started uh, doing things from a place of love. Mm-hmm. God is just love, full stop. Mm. And love is all there is. Trust mm. me. So yeah, pray about it. Reflect on your life. Reflect. And also before I go, there's an episode I did about healing your inner child. Mm. Let me tell you, there's an inner mm. child in every person. Mm. Kuna kitoto kondani. And if that child was hurt when you're growing up mm. or went through trauma, yeah. that child stopped growing at that trauma. Mm-hmm. So you see grown-ups, but they're literally children. Yeah, they're right. frustrated. They're crying. They're treating people like they, are, they have tantrums. They mm-hmm. have, you know what, what I mean. Right. So you have to heal that child. Mm. I had childhood trauma. I went for therapy. I went for therapy. And that's when I learned I had childhood trauma and I had to heal that child. Mm. And I don't, most of childhood trauma occurs in our childhood. Right. And sometimes it does not mean your caregivers, your parents, or whoever, or your teachers, mm-hmm. like they did it intentionally or they wanted yeah. to hurt you. For example, for me, I went to boarding school. I felt abandoned and that thing affected me completely. Mm. So I had to heal that child. Mm-hmm. There's an episode I've spoken about healing your inner child please healing your inner child mm. watch it watch yeah. it and then do exactly if that's very important Moroni. and i feel also i'm learning some some things that we grew up knowing to be the truth you know those are the false beliefs that we've you know that come from you know our childhood the way we grew up and stuff like that and i believe it's very important to to heal the inner child but also um 
to unlearn certain things, you know, and so that, you, you know, the, and it all comes up to going back to the drawing board, knowing who you are and creating your life, not something that the society has told you that things have to be done like this. And if you don't, if you don't get married at this age, then there's a problem, you don't have kids, stuff like that. And so many other examples that we can give. But yeah, it's all about just healing the, the just healing your, your childhood, um, you know, trauma that you've had and also unlearning the beliefs that we've had and that we've grown up with and going back to the drawing board and starting your own life. Just getting on the driver's seat. It's your life and you should design your life the way you want it to be in a way that makes you happy. Do I have put a link mm -hmm. uh, where it takes you to a meditation video. It takes you back. Mine took me back to when I was 10 years. And when you do the, that hypnosis video, mm -hmm. hypnosis video, and I've received a lot of DMs, a lot of emails about people who've really done healing your inner child. If you yeah. did, if you watched that video and you did the exercises about healing that child, loving that child again, you know, mm -hmm. because the inner child is a person who lives. It's not this tall Mudoni, grown up Mudoni with a big bust. It's that child, that Kayan Mudoni. Is a Why with a big bust though? <laughs> yeah, it is. If they went through trauma, mm -hmm. you have to heal. And the worst part is, things might have happened to you when you were growing up. Maybe abuse, or maybe you've seen people you love suffer and even our parents, some some people watch their parents suffer from cancer and die sometimes mm -hmm. those things traumatize you it doesn't have to be someone did really something to you intentionally sometimes you also don't realize you have childhood trauma until you start healing right. and then mm -hmm. it start start bringing about emotions mm -hmm. i was also talking to someone else and they were telling me they don't want to go to therapy because they, they don't want to start going through their wounds they don't want to start going through their childhood you have to go back yeah. and heal that child. Mm -hmm. There is no other choice. Otherwise, right. you will just continue living life in dysfunction. Right. You'll just mm -hmm. continue being unhappy. You have to go back and heal that child. Mm -hmm. So I want to leave it at that. Pray. And you don't have to just tell God, let your will be done. Right. Start from there. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Mm -hmm. And then eventually you will graduate too. And then also try that one. The one I see. God. Use me as a vessel. Mm -hmm. God, may I be a blessing to everybody I meet today or to someone today. May someone have a good day because of me. Someone believe in the goodness of life. Mm -hmm. And for example, if you're feeling suicidal and all those things, you probably need to stop to jump or to come out of the victim mentality right. and understand it's your world. And those people, you have let them in their, your world to make you feel like that. Mm -hmm. You can take control again. You know what right. I mean? You can. It's possible. It's a start. You might probably need help, professional help. That's why I say seek therapy. If you can, please seek therapy. It's amazing. It works. It worked on me. Right. I also also had to do a lot of work, a lot of exercises. I watched a lot of videos. Mm -hmm. I watched a lot. Uh, I read a lot of books. I am a read. I'm a book on my love reading, especially self help books. Right. And that's why I even decided to start right. this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Leave your comment down below and please share these videos. Wow, guys. Thank you so much. That was a very... I love you guys. That was a very interesting um, conversation. I loved it. And I guess what we should all get from this is uh, self-development, personal development is very important. Go back to the drawing board, heal whatever has been traumatizing you since your childhood, because that inner child is still hurting, but you need to face it so you can, you know, you can conquer it. And then, you know, just, um, you know, just do things that will make you a better person, educate yourself, knowledge is power, read a lot. If you don't like reading, go on YouTube, Google, personal development, how to become a better person. And you have so many experts out there who can help you uh, become this better person that you're aspiring to be. I enjoyed this discussion. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, so yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed my reaction. And so if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and make sure you share, 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 and go and subscribe to Modoni, uh, Modoni's mission as well. And I will leave the, the link in the description uh, down below. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye.